Hi everyone, thanks for watching. So I had an idea to start this new series of videos as part of the Clarinelle channel and I'm calling it Clarinelle Stories. My reason for wanting to do this is because when I think about the bands who I really love, um, obviously I love listening to their music, but I also really love learning about their paths to where they've come and how they fell in love with music and how they found one another and just the stories that they've had along the way. I'm just always fascinated to learn about those things. So I thought this might be a fun way for me to share with you not just my clarinet playing, but also a bit about my own story. So the story I want to tell you today is something that happened to me um, in my formative years. I think I was a sophomore or junior in college and I went to the conservatory at the University of Cincinnati. And as at many uh, jazz departments, there was a bulletin board in the jazz wing, um, which always had posters for various jazz programs that you could audition for around the country. A lot of them happen in the summertime. And I remember there was one that I noticed um, for, I had noticed for the last few years, and it was something called the Henry Mancini Institute. I think it caught my eye because it was in LA where I had never been, and it said very clearly on the poster that if you got in, it was all expenses paid. And you basically got to go to LA for a month and um, rehearse and meet and perform every day with this whole collection of young professional artists from around the world um, and, and live in LA for a month and just get to experience life there. And I thought, oh my God, that would be so awesome. And my private teacher at this time, and he's absolutely an incredible teacher, incredible saxophonist, and a very good friend. Um, and at that time, I believe he was just being honest with me, but he had told me that he really felt like they were probably looking for someone with more of a more of a rock sound, more of a pop sound, which I can understand because this was in LA and we were going to be playing a lot of film music and that kind of thing. And he knew that I had a much more um, sensitive, uh, soft approach to jazz and improvisation. So he told me he thought they might be looking for someone with a different style than me. And I remember giving it some thought and deciding, well, I'm probably not going to get in, but what the hell? I'm going to audition anyway. So they had auditions somewhere, I think it was in Indiana. I had to drive to Indiana for the auditions because, you know, because people were auditioning for this program all over the world, um, the artistic director and the executive director, uh, di executive director, director actually traveled around to the auditions in different cities. So I drove to Indiana for this audition and I remember playing for them and I could almost tell at the audition that I, I already sort of knew that I had gotten in. I could just tell. Sometimes you just know. Um, so the happy ending of the story is that I did attend that institute. I did go out. I did get to perform um, film music at Warner Brothers Studios and all these other incredible venues around Los Angeles. And really, most importantly of all, I was connected with a man there um, who was the director of the jazz program at the Manhattan School of Music. And after I met him and I got to know him, and obviously he got to know my playing during that month in the summer, he really recruited me and basically told me, I want you to come to Manhattan School um, for your master's degree, which is really the whole reason I moved to New York City. I had never really thought about moving to New York City until, until he sort of offered me, made me this offer to come. I had never considered it. So I guess to me, this story um, is a great lesson for myself and I hope for others that you never know how just going for something, even when it feels like the odds are probably against you, you never know how going for that thing can change everything and can actually change the course of your entire life, which is what happened to me. I was in New York for 10 years, which just led to all sorts of incredible opportunities, getting to perform all, the, all over the world um, and all of that. So that's the story I wanted to share today. And if you're enjoying this uh, Clarinelle stories idea, please, you know, like, comment, let me know. Um, and I hope that I'll get to do more of these because uh, 
I'd love to share with you all in, in this way as well. So take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you soon.